Hey there, crafty friends. It's Hannah at the Doodle Bug in Jasper, Indiana, and it's time for our daily What's New Today at the Doodle Bug. Not going to lie, today a huge chunk of the day was spent checking in brand new lawn fawn for tomorrow. Oh my goodness. This is going to be such a stinking cute release. And I know if you're a Lawn Fawn fan, you've been watching some of the teasers that they've been putting out there. Um, so as Leslie was checking it in today, I kept her, you know, hearing her giggle and, and things like that and little kind of noises because they are so, so stinking cute. So I cannot wait for you to see if you are a Lawn Fawn fan, I'm going to apologize for this release because it, it's a bad one. It's a good one, but it's a bad one. I mean, it was, it was bad on my pocketbook too. I just entered the bill and I'm like, oh, I mean, it, my bill is more than what my mortgage is for my house. So it, it's that good. So I at least hope you feel the same way because again, I spent more than the mortgage on my house on that shipment this month. Um, it hurt a lot. So hopefully you guys love it too. Um, and I cannot wait to show that to you tomorrow, but today, we got in a lot of other good stuff as well. I've got three tables full of stuff. Some of it's new, some of it's just really good restocks as well. So lots of great things on the table today. And then in addition to Lawn Fawn tomorrow, we also got in a Spellbinders order today as well that we'll be checking in tomorrow. So I've got Lawn Fawn to show you tomorrow and Spellbinders. Today, I've got great restocks from Simple Stories. Um, I've got some Totally Tiffany that we've been having a hard time keeping in. Um, 49 and Market. Oh, I've got new Prima waxes. The rest of the waxes are here. So lots of good stuff today. So um, I'm just going to flip the camera around and we are going to check it right out. All right. First of all, we are starting with Katie Buddy Bags. Um, Katie Buddy Bags. So Katie is great for your stamps and dies, but she also fits just handmade cards as well. The other day in our private Facebook group, the Doodlebug Dish, if you're not a member, check it out. People share so many ideas and inspiration. And I know the other day, Abby posted cards that she is using her Katie bags for. Um, and then as soon as she posted that, somebody else ordered two Katie bags. So I'm assuming they saw um, Abby's idea of how she's using her Katie bags loved it and inspired them to do the same. There's also little inserts that you can get for Katie. I've got those over here on the shelf. So there are little divider pockets. So again, that's what makes these so nice and great because you can just slide your stamp sets down into there. And there's also magnetic sheets that fit in there as well. You can do um, the five by sevens work great in there. Or you can do the eight by five and a half. Those will slide down in there as well. So you can do, I think those fit in there. I'm pretty sure those do. I know in mine, I think I do the five by seven just to give it a little wiggle room. But you can put those in the Katie bags as well. And then that way you can stick your dies on, on those. So, um, that is another great way to use your Katie bags. We're going to move around here, bring it back around. So we've got Katie bags back in stock. Lisa Buddy bags. Lisa holds your 12 by 12 paper. She's got this great hard little insert that goes in there. That way you don't have to worry about your paper getting, you know, dinged up. And it will hold 200, it'll hold 100 sheets of card stock, card stock or 200 sheets of paper. So she is... She's got a little bit of oomph for you to hold your papers in. We needed these cute little flip books um, for a couple of the class kits that we've got with Simple Stories. Um, but these are just really fun. It's a four by six flip book. This particular color, I believe, is mint. Robin's egg. I'm wrong. This is Robin's egg. I think when we're talking Doodlebug, this is their mint color. But this is Robin's egg. Oh, it says it real big on the front. Duh. So we've got the little flip books in. I know one of these we need for a class kit, but we've got another one up for grabs. This is one of the new paper lines from Photo Play. It's called In Loving Memory. We had gotten one in, I believe it was last week, and that one has already made its way out the door, which is great. 
You can see you've got some sticker sheets in here. You've got some cut apart pages in here as well. I'm gonna flip it over so you can see that sticker sheet. So this is the collection kit. So we've got that back in stock. Then for the Simple Stories in Loving Memory line that they did, theirs is called Remember. We restocked the sticker book for Remember. These are full six by eight sheets, but I love that on the back, they give you a little teaser. I guess it's more than a teaser. They give you an, a glimpse at what you're getting in there. So we've got the sticker books back in stock. Also the big bits. So these are like their big die cuts, their big ephemera, um, or their ephemera, their die cuts, just bigger size. So it gives you a little more of a focal point. Great, you know, for tucking behind as well too. So we've got those back in stock for that line. And then also the foam stickers. Those are also back in stock. As you can see, this is just a beautiful line. I love the colors in this one. For the spring line that they've got, the Vintage Spring Garden, we got back in the nice big ephemera for that line as well. So that's back in stock. For other lines, I just came out with True Colors is a brand new line. This is a really fun, bright line. Um, to me, you know, if you've done like, you know, some fun girls trips, you know, this would be good for that. But especially if you have younger women that you are scrapbooking for. So like your teenager, your tween, this is really fun for them. So this is a great line for them. So this is called True Colors. We've got the stickers in stock for True Colors. We also restocked, I just love these, period. Are these not beautiful? But this is the floral bits and pieces. I love the flowers and I love the colors in this line. So those are back in stock. And then for their spring line that they did this year called Fresh Air, we got back in the journal die cuts for spring air. Those are back in stock. And then last but not least from Simple Stories, this is for the line that I just keep in here because I love it that much. Um, this is the Life in Bloom line. Is that not beautiful? I'm gonna open that up so I can show you those pages. Whenever they do the six by eight pads, so the six by eight pads are very similar to the 12 by 12s in this line, but you also get some great focal pages that you're not gonna get in the 12 by 12s. Let's see if I can get this open. Maybe. We've got some good eyeballs on here tonight. So hello, everybody. Where's everybody watching from? That's be kind of fun to see who's our furthest away person watching tonight. All right. So you can see you've got great cut aparts in here, but like that, you're not going to get that in the 12 by 12s. Oh, there's my girl Debbie's on. They do make them really hard to open. Oh, we've got somebody from Colorado. Welcome, welcome. But look at that great focal page. Are these not so pretty? So many beautiful reasons to be happy. So these are great in many books, but I also use them in my scrapbooks too. Um, I like to use them like this would be perfect. And then put your photo underneath it. Have another little piece sticking out, you know, so you can start doing your layers and stuff. Oh, Edie, you're in Florida on vacation. Lucky girl. We've got North Carolina in the house, Illinois, our, our great neighbor to the Hoosier State here. Ooh, look at that one. I've never even noticed that one. Ombres. How pretty is that? Again, I just, I absolutely love, love this line. So if you're loving this book and you have not seen this line before, check it out on our website. It's called Vintage Life in Bloom, and it is beautiful. So there is that. Um... Oh, we got two here. I'm like, I think I saw him somewhere else. Just a fun little restock for our St. Patrick's Day section. So if you have not thought about your cards yet, this is a super cute little guy here. He would even be really fun in little home decor pieces as well. His name is Lucky Gnome. And I believe these are um, like 
7.89. They're less than eight bucks, and that's a nice size stamp set for less than eight dollars. So he is super, super cute. Oh, somebody's jumping ahead. Add that heart punch to me. You've got it, my friend. So let's check out what Stacy just snagged. So Stacy snagged this great little inch and a half heart punch. Um, all the heart punches went on back order. February 1st. So I've got some heart punches finally coming in, you know, uh, great timing for Valentine's Day next year. Uh, but a heart punch is just something that I think should kind of be in everybody's staple and stash because if you need a bunch, it's so much easier to use a hand punch than to run them through your die cut machine. So super fun. They are back in stock. So if anybody else wants one, not a big deal. We can easy peasy get these back in. So that is going in my basket for that one's a snag, and I'm, I know this is a special order, so I'm putting that in there too. Our little plus glue runners, we were out of the refill, so this is not the original. We do have those on the shelf. This is the refill, but what makes this guy so great? This right here. Look how skinny that adhesive is. So this is going to be perfect for one if you're doing shakers okay and you're doing that first little layer that you're just gluing down flat this is going to be great for that nice and thin if you are doing little labels and tabs and skinny stuff this is perfect for that this is also really nice um, if you use the photo dies that we carry this is great for doing that great little border that the photo dies cut out so you can do a quick little border around those easy peasy so again we do have the regular refills as well um is this an adhesive you're going to use all the time no it's not uh, because it's so thin but whenever you need it how many times have you put a line of glue down just to have it overflow well then you've got glue dots where you don't want them you've got glue on your table so this is a great little glue to have in your stash um, and they're like three four bucks i know the refills i think were 3.99 and i think the original is real close to that too so a very inexpensive adhesive as well so that is back in stock magnetic discs we carry two sizes of these we've got a, a larger one and a smaller one this is the larger the small one um well that you know that isn't even a circle i don't know why i'm trying to show you that let's say the small one is probably more like the size of his little glove there Okay, but we've got small and large. The large ones are nicer if you're going through um, more things, you know, a little bit thicker paper, they've got a little more oomph to them, or if you're holding down a bigger flap. I like the larger magnets for that. So magnets back in stock. This little cutie patootie is gonna be so fun in a little crafter's Easter basket. You've got a fun little chicken there, and then they pop on all these fun little rhinestones. So we got the little Chick Gem Art Kit. These here are special order, but I do like to show the special order so you can see we can get all kinds of items in. These are acrylic paint pens, and I do keep paint pens in all the time. I usually keep like thinner, finer ones so we can write. This one here is just a little bit thicker with the tips. So that is a fun one there. Uh, next up, we've got all kinds of restocks for 49 and market. So we've got for the spice, and I know it's not fall, but I absolutely love these rub-ons. I love the floral in these. I love the butterflies and moths in these. And they've got great colors there. So just save your pumpkins for, for something for fall. Fun is this. I'm trying not to be distracted. So today um, our radio wasn't working and I always play 80s hits, but today I've got 90s hits on. And I'm I'm a child of the 90s, so there's there's a Nirvana song right on right now and I'm trying not to sing it in my head. It's like takes me back to like eighth grade dances and stuff. All right, next up, we've got the beautiful summer line they did last year called Sunburst. This is such a pretty line. If you were just a snowbird, you got away. Oh, well, Edie, Edie's on vacation in Florida. Edie, you need this. Totally looks like, you know, Florida. 
I know I've just, I had some friends that they just did a tropical vacation to get away from the snow we just had here. But this one here is called Sunburst and we do have more that matches this line. So if you love this line and you need more, you let me know and I would be happy to send you pictures of the rest of the line. Then also Spectrum Gardenia. Spectrum Gardenia is another beautiful, bright, bold line from 49 and Market. This is the six by eight pad they came out with. I love their six by eight pads. These are really great for quick and easy cards as well too. I mean, you pretty much just fold them in half and you've got a four by six there, cut it down just a teeny tiny bit, fold it in half and you've got your A2s. But look at that, that right there, cut that in half, again, four by six, trim it a little bit, you know, to fit your four and a fourth by five and a half, put a sentiment on there and boom, you are done. The other one, look how beautiful that is. So I do find that these pads are really great for card makers as well. Pumpkins can be used all year because all of us are behind. That's right. I mean, people will come in and ask, do you still have Christmas paper? Oh, heck yeah. Because as a, if you are scrapbooking, you're, you're never caught up for one. If you're a card maker, a lot of card makers start their Christmas cards in July and August. So we keep it all year long. Next up with continuing with 49 and market. This is for nature study. This one is so pretty. Again, the words a lot of times I keep in all the time, regardless if I'm still stocking a lot of the line or not, because the colors just match so many different things. Like this one for me is great boy colors. And look at all the explore, favorite, friends, love this, details, hello, memories, wander together, best ever. This doesn't even really scream a ton of outdoorsy stuff. It doesn't scream camping, hiking, anything like that. And this was their nature line. These are just great. Oh, Cindy. Oh my gosh. Like squirrel. I didn't even finish my sentence. Cindy just said these make beautiful slimline cards. Yes, they do. Cindy. Great. Oh, great tidbit there. Great pro tip. Thank you, ma'am. Anyway, I keep these in all the time because colors are good on them. Um, next up, this is one of the newer lines. This is the Moonlit Garden. This is the 12 by 12 rub-ons. And again, just good verbiage on here. Um, I'm going to flip it over so we can see it in what everything's on there. But things like good life, enjoy life, my heart, loving this life, never forget right now, sweet life, you're amazing, live for today, best ever, hello, um, hello, happy, candid photo, little moments, oh, happy day, dream big dreams, embrace life. So again, this is just good for anything that you're working on. And the colors are great too, nice neutral colors. Even if you're doing stuff really bold, like hot pinks, look at all the black you've got in here. That'll give you a great little punch of color. So that is a great crossover set for sure. Next up for Moonlit Garden. Did we get two of those in? I did. I must have given it a little, little trigger happy again. You know how I do that. But we do have a retreat this weekend. So I'm sure we've got lots of girls that are going to be wanting to work on some pages. And these ultimate page kits from 49 and Market are so easy, so fun and beautiful. And you can always make them your own. If you want to put more photos, you know, we're very creative women. We don't give ourselves enough credit, but you can definitely kind of zhuzh things around on here to make it work for the number of photos that you're wanting. So the ultimate page kit back in stock for Moonlit Garden and also for Everywhere. Everywhere was another travel line that they did. I think this one is just so fun. Oh, Starla, yes, the retreat is going to be very fun. I actually um, grabbed a few. We'll see if I get anything done for myself, but I did grab the twins' um, senior pictures from last year. Um, I just gave myself a focus. Instead of bringing lots of stuff, I'm only bringing those pictures. I usually don't get a lot done for myself, so if I get anything done, I, I don't have much choice but to work on that. Um, next up, okay, so let's talk a little bit about the distress 
watercolor pencils just for a second um, because, and I'm going to walk over and grab them. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a couple things here. All right, now let's talk about these markers, or these, not markers, these watercolor pencils just for a moment. Okay, first off, they are a woodless, meaning they're, you know, when you sharpen your pencil, you've got that wood. These are all color, um, which makes them a great value, first of all. Secondly, when you sharpen these, okay, when you sharpen them to make them, well, more sharp, duh, um, you are throwing away color. You know what people are doing, friends? They are saving those. And they are using them to like little watercolor palettes. Oh my gosh, mine blown. I mean, seriously, that is such a great idea. And then you could just take this with you if you want. Um, you can even wet them and then let them dry. And of course, when you wet it again, it's going to reactivate it. So what a awesome, awesome idea. So I got in the ink palettes. These are like used for like your um, alcohol inks, anything like that. Yes, you can put your alcohol inks in here, um, let them dry, and then they'll reactivate. Same thing here, distressed crayons, alcohol inks, great for use with distressed ink. So you could actually put your little inks in there, oxide reinkers. That Yes, that is, Diane, I think we are like, if you could see my hand, I'm like back and forth here. We are like on the total same wavelength. That's what I'm open it up so I can show you. Look, it's got a great little cover on here as well. So yes, they do close as well. So the little ink palettes here, um, does it say how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you would need two of these for all of your um, distress pencils because aren't there 72 is that right we got 72 colors now um i think that's right so i'd have to go back at 12 times 4 yeah yep yeah, okay so 12 times 4 no no we've got one no we've got six six times two. okay well maybe you need a few more than that um, my i so yes but anyway we need a few extras uh, than what what i was thinking but these are perfect for your watercolor pencils. Ink palette, you've got it. So Diane wants one, okay. And let me let's see, 12 times six. One. Yeah, that's right, 72. I'm, I'm doing my math right. Um, so I'm thinking you'll just need two for all of them. I, I think that's right. So Diane, I don't know if you're wanting them for your watercolor pencils or just to play around with, but I've got one for Diane. Um, Sherry, she would like an ink palette and the 49 and Market Ultimate Page Kit. I showed two, my friend. Let me know which one you want. We've got Moonlit Garden and the Everywhere. I think someone did snag Everywhere, um, but I know Lynn would totally let me reorder her one because I'm going to see you, I believe, this weekend, Sherry. I think, I think you're coming to the retreat. So, Sherry, just let me know which one you're wanting. All right, so we've Talked about the ink palettes. Also, you need a good sharpener for them, but that I wanted to show you the sharpener since that was, you know, I was really trying to be visual with what you're going to do with your little shavings. You're going to save them. And then we also got back in the watercolor cardstock. That was on back order um, since he just released more colored pencils. Everyone was scrambling for the paper as well then to restock on that. So we've got that back in. Our glue erasers, those are back in stock. Sherry wants the moonlit. You've got it, friends. So we are good then. We've got glue erasers back in stock. Remember we talked about this is one of those things in your stash. They're a couple bucks. Um, and they are great for whenever you've got that little oops of, of glue. Now, if it's dried glue, like liquid glue that's dried, it's not going to get that up. But tape runners, gummy stuff, it's going to be great to pull that up. So glue racers back in stock. 
our little white gel pins. This is a three pack that has three different widths in it. We've got a 0 0.5, 0 0.8, and a 1.0 in here. So these are like um, fine, medium, and bold. Got those back in stock. Single-sided scotch tape. This is permanent and acid-free, friends. Um, so this is not what you're going to use for wrapping gifts or anything like that. But if you've got a photo that has torn, this is what you're going to use. If you're working with an older album that still has paper pages in it, and one of those pages is torn or needs to be mended, this is what you need for that as well. Um, so again, it's not going to be a tape you're going to use all the time, but it is really important when you're putting any kind of tape, you know, in your scrapbook that it is acid free. So I had somebody call in and we ordered some for her because she found an old like family genealogy book and she needs to work to repair it. So she needs to have acid free document tape. So this is single sided, not double sided because sometimes you don't want that double stick. Um, so we've got single sided, permanent, acid free, photo safe scotch tape in stock. Um, just a quick little restock. This is actually for some page kits we're doing for the retreat. Um, in our color vibe, we've got pool back in and olive. I like these because it's got a solid, it's very like a soft solid. As you can see there, it looks really nice and soft on one side. And then it's got these great fun dots on the other. So pool and olive. We've got more of our fun little, oh, we just had some. Some gravity happened in the store. Some paper fell off the shelf. Um, this is one of those great little from Tombow. One side will erase your ink and the other side will erase your pencil. I don't know. Oh, there we go. It's like, I don't know why it won't focus. But those are great there. Next up, our Nouveau Aqua Shimmer Pins. We ran out of those already. You've got three different ones in here. You've got gold, silver, and rose gold. Now, I always say this, this is very deceiving. It does not come out like a lacquer. It comes out more like this in the middle. It's very shimmery and it's got glitter in it. So you've got one that's going to shimmer gold, shimmer silver, shimmer rose gold. So that's what you're getting in here. When you get these, you do want to take that little fluorescent yellow piece out. That prevents them from leaking. So once you do that, it's like a little plunger and then you um, screw them back together, slowly squeeze, not a crazy squeeze, slowly squeeze, and you'll start to see the color come down. And it's got a nice little brush tip. There we go. You can see on the back. So it's just a nice little shimmery that it's going to add. Next up, we've got some thickers that we've got. This is a reorder. The other one is brand new. This is a fun little set. It's called Rainbow Avenue. So you've got this really fun rainbow set. There's the other half of it. And then you've, so you've got basically two alphabets in one. And then the other one is a rose gold. And I do like how they package them. That way you can see, because otherwise if they put all rainbow on one side, people wouldn't turn it over and know that they've got rose gold on the other. So they do half and half on those. So that is Rainbow Avenue. And then look at this one. Oh my gosh. Does this just not scream fun? This one here is called Maggie. Maggie is a little bit of a larger alphabet too, probably a, like an inch and a half. And look how fun and chunky her glitter is. So, so pretty. We definitely needed, we needed another pink alphabet over there. I've only got one pink one in right now. So we needed another pink. And I think Maggie is adorable. Love Maggie. So that is brand new. Um, Better Press Ink. So we just got this one in the other day. We've got a little restock on it already. Tropical was brand new colors. And then the other one we hadn't gotten in yet. This one is called Jet Set. Jet Set has Garnet, Taffy, Cruise, and Thunder. Really, really pretty. And then since we've got so many more of us are using our Better Press and loving it, I also got in more of the little mini archival ink storage tins. So this will hold 12 of your little inks in there as well. So basically you'll be able to get three sets in one of these. So if you are, you know, loving your better press 
and all your inks are kind of rolling around. If you're like me, you're just kind of trying to keep them in this package and put a rubber band around it. Um, yeah, don't do that anymore. Get yourself a fun little container. So we've got the little archival ink storage tins in now. And again, it'll hold 12, so that'll get you three sets of your Better Press inks in there. All right, next up, brand new. So this is those Find It Trading little pop, um, 3D punch outs that we love. Um, we've got two different pink florals. Um, and you know, I don't know my flowers, so I never know how to name these. Um, are these, oh, like that, that kind of looks like maybe an iris, but I don't think it is an iris. <coughs> I don't know my flowers. So we're going to call this sheet nine, seven, because <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. Unless someone can help me with my flowers here. I don't know if they're irises. I mean, I don't think they look like lilies. Heck, I don't know. I'm so bad with my flowers. But this little punch out sheet here, I know most of you just get them both at the same time anyway. I don't know if these are zinnias. Is that kind of what a zinnia looks like? But these are so pretty too. There we go. There we go. Thank you, Sharon. Sharon just wants both. So Hannah doesn't have to know what the flowers are, she wants both of those. Perfect, my friend, going in my basket. Then I also ordered in some of the paper pads to match them as well. And look, they've got all kinds of extra little accents in there too. So then that way your colors will match perfectly. And this would be even fun if you're wanting to use them in a little mini book. And they even did solids. They don't do this for all of them. Oh, maybe a gladiola? Yeah, I don't know. I'm so bad with flowers. But here's the solids, just a fun little solid pack as well too. So I thought those were kind of neat this time. So I added those along with the punch outs. So we've got the punch outs and then we've got the pink florals um, print and the pink florals solids. Next up, so we're our Prima waxes I think are all finally here. So we've added now coral. This sea glass is beautiful. Sea glass, acid, a pretty green color, and then black gold. So that one's gonna be black and then shimmer in gold. So that one's really hard to put on the little cap there. Both the matching paper pads, you've got it, friend. Those in my basket as well. Next up, we've got a restock on Elizabeth Crafts. This is wildflower number two. She just did some new great little um, floral dyes. We have ran out of all of them and finally they're getting back in stock. So this is number two. I'm not for sure if that's a special order or not. Um, we ran out the other day of the combo sets from Spellbinders and I just happened to have had one on my distributor order as well to see who came in first so I could see them. Um, and this one here is the combo tray. So you get a large tray and you get the two smaller ones. They've got that great little lid that fits on all of them. And then as you can see, they stack as well too. So the combo tray is back in. And then this little guy here is gonna be going up into our Doodlebug Snow Much Fun section. He must have been one that was lingering on a back order. And this is the odds and ends. So great little die cuts. So when we had that crazy amount of snow last week, if you took advantage of it and got some good little shots, maybe even just of your four-legged kids playing in the snow. Now we've got the odds and ends back in for you to document that. So sinking cute. I love, I love that one. Such a fun little line. Okay. Whew. Well, friends, I think, I think that is it. So we covered a lot of ground today. So we started with some storage stuff, um, restocks for photo play, um, simple stories, restocks, a bunch of 49 and market restocks. And then again, some great storage solutions for some hot items. Um, so from now on, Whenever you are sharpening these pencils, do not throw that away. Save it, and you can create little watercolor palettes with those. Um, and then also for my Better Press fanatics, we've got new storage, I guess not new, just restocked storage for your great little ink pads to fit in there as well. And then the new Prima, all kinds of new stuff over on this area. 
So, okay. Well, I think that is it, friends. So, totally Tiffany, Lisa, you've got it, Miss Cindy. I'm pulling that right now for you, right here. Um, so, yeah, lots and lots of fun stuff. Again, if you are a lawn fawn fanatic, um, if you love lawn fawn, um, or maybe if you just love mice and um, fun little Easter cuteness, um, this is going to be a really good release. So when is Lawn Fawn coming? So Lawn Fawn will be here. Lawn Fawn is here, actually, Terry. I just cannot show it. So I can show it tomorrow. Um, I will turn it on on the website tomorrow morning. Um, I, I honestly, I love you girls, but I cannot stay up till midnight to turn it on online. And, and you guys don't need to be up at midnight anyway, either. Um, or maybe if you are, but you know, be doing like fun crafty stuff. Yes. The Easter stuff is so cute, but lawn fawn release is tomorrow and it is so, so stinking cute. So I will show it to you tomorrow. I don't know if I will pop on, um, you know, earlier in the day to show you lawn fawn, um, or if I will just wait till the normal time kind of depends. Tomorrow is packing day for the retreat. So I will see, you know, kind of if I'm like totally crazy, um, you know, then I may not be able to, but tomorrow is packing day as well. We've got to pack the store up for our um, on-site store at the retreat. So I've got a lot to do tomorrow and, um, you know, things to pick up, food, things like that. So we'll see. I may just do it all in one swoop in the evening, um, but possibly go on earlier. I'm not for sure. I'm never for sure. I mean, I, I, I can't even get on here at the same time every day, even though I try. So you know how it is. But anyway, all right. Well, I am heading out for the evening. Hope you guys had an amazing, wonderful day. Hope you enjoyed the live. Uh, maybe, you know, even if you don't shop the live, I love you guys popping on here, asking questions, you know, adding, you know, great suggestions on stuff. And then hopefully you learn a little bit too about maybe some products that you've got at home already in your stash and another way to use them. So until next time, Everybody. I'm Hannah at the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana. I um, hope you guys have just a crafty blessed evening and I will see you sometime, maybe twice tomorrow. Take care. Bye.